Yes, I know it's another Citizen JP, but this time it's a blue dial. Hey, what's up guys, Giacomo here. Today we're discussing the Citizen Aqualand ProMaster JP2067L, the blue dial version. Let's get it. This blue dial JP2000 is available officially on the European market only. It has been since long replaced by the more modern EcoDrive Aqualand ProMaster. Other than the color, there is no difference with the regular black dial Aqualand. It is exactly the same watch. Okay, let's address the elephant in the room, the metal bracelet. I'll be honest with you, this is not the best bracelet I've ever seen. For starters, the texture and color of it, it doesn't match the finish of the case. Makes me think of an afterthought. Also the links, they might appear as three piece links, but they are in fact one solid link just molded to look that way. The clasp is partly machined, or at least it looks like it, and partly printed. I would say this is the most disappointing thing about this bracelet. Also, there is a rattle to it. Take a listen. It's not all bad though. There is an extension which can be activated by pulling at these tabs right here. This being a relatively large watch, they managed to achieve a compact look by having the lugs angled down. You can clearly see this by looking at the flanks of the case, the end links almost drop vertically. With a weight of almost 190 grams, with two links removed, same as an iPhone 7 Plus, it is heavy, but doesn't necessarily feel so. After wearing it for a whole day, I can say it feels balanced and not hefty at all. Now the best thing about this piece, well other than being a JP, a loved watch with a lot of following, is the blue dial. This is a sunburst radiating from the center, it is subtle and not obnoxious. It's fun to see how it plays with the light at different angles. The 5 minute markers are printed and covered with luminescent paste with a tinge of pale green that really goes with the blue. The bezel is a really nice dark blue, unidirectional with 60 clicks. I know what you guys are thinking, where is the orange mini hand, right? On other variations I would have argued that colors on the dial might be one too many, in this case orange against blue would have been great so I don't quite get this design choice. To see this I have created a rendering of the mini hand, make believe it's orange and I think you can agree with me that orange would have rocked. Truth to be told, I still like the white hand better. This JP2000 retains the quartz caliber C520 with many useful functions like chrono, calendar, diving recording, and more. Most importantly, this is no echo drive, so battery will last only for so long. Old JPs feature an engraved case back with a logo, then later generations have seen that drop in favor of a simple laser etching, and now, well, there is nothing there, the logo is gone. Dimensions are generous on this JP and unchanged. With its 44mm, it doesn't wear big though. On the contrary, due to the angling down of the lug mount, this bracelet version seems to wear with a bit of a more compact look than the one on rubber. As an alternative to the steel bracelet, how about a rubber strap with a color to match? Removing the bracelet is really easy with the right tools. I picked this navy blue to more or less go with the dark blue of the bezel. I think the overall result is not disappointing. I might even consider going with the regular black, I'm not too sure this is a good idea though. Incidentally, I find this steel bracelet not too bad. The outside finish is prone to collect scratches, given the matte finish that was given to it. Other than that, the inner side is regular brushed steel and with solid end links. That's a pleasant surprise. The question is, will I wear this JP on steel or leave it on rubber? I'm inclined to go with the latter option. I don't like the sloppy look of a scratch bracelet and I don't see how you can polish a matte finish, a bit like what happens with certain titanium finish, you just have to have to learn to live with it. And this will scratch bad, that I can promise you. On the other hand, rubber tends to stick to the skin and on clothes, removing a long sleeve shirt is somewhat unpleasant, the steel bracelet is way more comfortable. Okay, that's a wrap. Thank you guys for watching, catch you in the next one.